as how to add love or minus hate. But it gives us every reason to hope that every problem has a solution. Welcome, my dear student, to another lesson full of knowledge, skills, and experience. This is your teacher, Marzel. Join me as we start another fun and exciting learning in Mathematics 7. Welcome to our lesson today. After going through this video lesson, you are expected to pause real life problems that can be solved by statistics and formulate simple statistical instrument. Are you ready? Prepare now your learning materials and enjoy learning with me. Your self-learning module, which will serve as your guide and reference. Your pen and paper, which you can use in taking down important notes. Are you familiar with this? Yes, these are all about is statistics. To begin, let's play a game. Are you familiar with top three games? This is how. I have searched websites with top three answers. Make an educational guess. It is easy, so I'm sure you can answer it correctly. Are you ready? Yay! Let's do it! Our first category is the leading social media platform used in the Philippines 2021. My source is www.cobco.com What are the top three among these platforms? What do you think is the first one? Very good, it is Facebook. How about the second? Excellent, it is Instagram. And the third is? Good job, it is Twitter. Our next category is from hungrypinoyblog.wordpress.com The most favorite Pinoy dish or ulam. What do you think are the top three? The first one is, very good, it is adobo. How about the second one? Good job, it is sinigang. And the last one is, very good, pinola. Our last category is the popular Filipino drinks of 2021. My source is from www.gamintrouble.com What do you think are the top three Filipino drinks? The first is... Very good! Buko! How about the second? You are correct! Calamansi juice! And the third is... Excellent! Kaping Barako! The three websites mentioned have used statistics to know the top three in each category. Now, do you have any idea what statistic is all about? Statistics! It is a branch of mathematics that deals with the knowledge of collecting, organizing, interpreting, and analyzing data. Why is statistics important? It's because it has many applications in the society, such as business statistics, medical statistics, statistics for history in education, government, and many more. The two areas of statistics are descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics is the collection, presentation, and description of sample data. 
while inferential statistic is the process of making decision and drawing conclusion about population. To understand more about statistics, let us know the basic terms of statistics. We have population and sample. What is population? It is a collection or set of individuals or objects or events whose properties are to be analyzed. For a sample, it is a subset of population. This picture shows the difference of population and sample. This table shows examples of population and sample. Example for population. All 800 grade 7 students of Benigno V. Aldana National High School. And sample from this population, we have 50 students from grade 7 SPM Euclid and SPM Decart. Another example for population, 50 total recovered COVID-19 patients in the province of Pangasinan today. And example for sample from this population, we have 10 recovered COVID-19 patients that are from the municipalities of Asingan, Binalonan, and Puzurubio. So those are examples of population and sample. Another term that we should know in dealing with statistics is data. Data are individual pieces of information recorded and used for the purpose of analysis. It is the raw information from which statistics are created. Example of data, we have distance from home to school, age of a student, and we have gender, could be male or female. There are two types of data. One is numerical data. In this data set, every value in the set is a number. Example, weight, age, number of modules answered in a day. Another is categorical data. This data set can be taken on non-numerical values. For example, race, gender, name of colors, or levels such as small, medium, and large. We also have the nature of data, qualitative data, and quantitative data. What is the difference of these two? In qualitative data, it can be separated into different categories that are distinguished by some non-numeric characteristics. Example, eye color, gender, smell of a flower. For quantitative data, it consists of numbers representing counts or measurements. Examples of quantitative data, number of modules answered by a student, time spent in accomplishing a module, or weight of a student. Another terms that we should know in statistics are parameter, and statistic. Parameter is a data collected from entire population. Example of parameter, the average age of all grade 7 students of Benigno V. Aldana National High School. So that's parameter. For a statistic, it is a data collected from a sample of the group being studied. Example, the average age of the 50 grade 7 students of Benigno V. Aldana National High School. So that's parameter and statistic. Math learners, do you want to learn more about the statistics? Okay, let's have this activity. Determine if a statement is a statistical question or not a statistical question. Just draw smiley face if it is a statistical question and a sad face if it is not a statistical question. Okay, let's have number one. 
What is the name of our present president? Is that a statistical question or not a statistical question? Number two. How tall are the grade 7 SPM students in centimeter? Number three. How do the heights of grade 7 SPM Euclid compare with the heights of grade 7 SPM Descartes? And last, what time did you get up this morning? Okay, let us check. Number one is... Sad face, not a statistical question. Number two, smiley face. Number three, a smiley face. These are a statistical question. And number four, sad face, not a statistical questions. From our activity, do you know what an statistical question? And not a statistical question? A statistical question, it is a question that can be answered by collecting data that vary. That is, not all the data are the same. A statistical question requires further investigation by collecting sets of data. Example in our activity. Number two, that's how tall are the grade 7 SPM students in centimeter? The grade 7 students don't have the same heights. So, there would be variability in the data. So, it is a statistical question. Another is, um, how do the heights of grade 7 SPM Euclid compare with the heights of grade 7 SPM Descartes? It is a statistical question. Why? Because to answer this question, we need to know the heights of the grade 7 SPM Euclid's and the grade 7 SPM Descartes. This time, let's have not a statistical question. Not a statistical question has an exact and immediate answer. You can directly answer it with yes or no. Or you can answer it right away because it is a question that is referring to yourself. Example, what is the name of our present president? That is not a statistical question. Why? Because there is only one answer to that question. You can answer it right away. It's President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Okay, another example of not a statistical question. What time did you get up this morning? That question, referring to yourself only. So it's not a statistical question. So that's all about statistics. Thank you for listening, my learners. Now, let us sum up our lesson today. Well done, math learners! Now, you can do this simple test. Pag sinabi ko kaya mo, sabihin, kaya ko! Pag sinabi ko kaya nyo, sabihin nyo, kaya natin ito! Okay, let's try it. Kaya mo? Kaya, kaya ko! Kaya nyo? Kaya, kaya natin to. Okay. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one. It is the study of collection, organization, analysis, and interpretation of data. Correct. It's letter C, statistics. Number two. It is the raw information from which statistics are created. Excellent. It's letter A, data. Number three. Which of the following is not an example of qualitative data? Good job! It's letter A, body weight. And last, which of the following is an example of a statistical question? Very good! It's letter C. How much time do the students of grade 7 rows spend in answering their modules? 
Congratulations everyone! You did great in our lesson today about statistics. Keep on learning!